Shelly Ann Fraser Price. And I made the team. I think that's always been the priority to come out here, to make the team and to give myself a chance to represent the country at the Olympic Games in Paris. So I'm grateful. Or Sharika Jackson. On my way to Paris, right? So they are two of the Jamaican trio that have made their mark in track and field. Now that Elaine Thompson Hera is out of commission, so to speak, it's now up to Shelly Ann and Sharika to make sure that the Jamaican flag makes an appearance on the podium in Paris. But first, they had to earn a spot on the team at the Jamaican trials. And did they? Well, what do you think? It's Shelly Ann and Sharika we're talking about after all. Both of them have goals, although there is a slight difference to their respective plans. One is preparing to ensure she leaves the sport with a bang, while the other is still determined to make her way to the top and remain there. Yep, Sharika Jackson aims to defend her world record times and break them if possible. She intends to do that this year, whether in the Paris Olympics or the Diamond League. Her fans, of course, are rooting for her and have been waiting, some impatiently, to compete especially since she made a late start to the 2024 season. As all of you know, the Jamaican star skipped the indoor season and has instead chosen to open her 2024 season in early April at the 2024 Miramar Invitational in Florida before launching her Diamond League title defense in Suzhou, Shanghai, over 200 meter in China later that month. She later admitted in an interview that because she did not compete in the world indoors, she had to hold back her goals and put them on pause, at least for a little bit. That means that she is pretty determined to win an Olympic gold medal. It is worth noting though, that she didn't really have many chances to compete. Not only because she was absent during the indoor season, but also because she made an even later start to the season, after she withdrew from the Miramar Invitational shortly before the highly anticipated race. No official reason was given, but the president of MVP Track Club, Bruce James, affirmed that pulling Jackson from the meet was in her best interest. This is the right decision for Sharika right now, said James. Sharika was then supposed to make her season debut at the Diamond League in China. However, a tweet revealed that Sharika Jackson has withdrawn from the Suzhou Diamond League. Once again, the world 100-meter silver medalist never shared why she withdrew from the event. Given that it was her fourth withdrawal from her season opener in 2024, people were beginning to wonder if she was up to the challenge of going to Paris. Finally, the 29-year-old opened her 2024 outdoor season in early May, with a 100-meter victory in 11.03 seconds at the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association all comers meet in her homeland. She then made her first Diamond League appearance of 2024 at the fourth round elite track and field athletics competition series in the Moroccan city of Marrakesh. There, the Jamaican world champion prevailed in her first 200 meter race of the season. But Jackson comes through 22.82 into a slight headwind, a reasonable headwind in fact, the wind did pick up in the last few minutes very little reaction from Jackson, but her Diamond League season is up and running. Yep, Jackson won in 22.82 seconds into a one meter per second headwind. As mentioned, she really hadn't had the chance to compete much either in the 100 meter or the 200 meter. Like her, Shelly Ann Fraser Price also made a late start to the season. And while it may have been late, she still started her season in style by running 11.15 seconds in the women's 100 meter at the 2024 JAA Olympic French Foray. That's not what's most impressive though. What's truly remarkable is the fact that she managed to win after being away from the track for almost 300 days because of an injury. Fast forward to the present. She began her Olympic preparations at the National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica, where she won the women's 100 meter sprint ahead of Jodian Williams and Sabrina Dockery. It's Fraser Price on the outside, Jodian Williams is there too. It's Williams and Fraser Price. Fraser Price wins it easily. Fraser Price came from behind to edge out Williams at the line. Her time of 11.15 seconds was notably the fastest time across the seven heats. Good enough start for her Olympic plans, right? But is that enough to achieve her goal of bagging medals from her fifth and final Olympics? 
Well, her performance at the Jamaican trials showed a peek at what she is capable of. Sharika Jackson, too, for that matter. Shelly Ann took center stage at the 2024 Jamaica Olympic trials, using an explosive start to easily win her heat in the first round of the women's 100 meters at the National Stadium in Kingston. She finished in 10.98 seconds. The fastest of the 24 sprinters spread over four races, erasing any doubts about her fitness. And yes, she even managed to hold off defending champion Sharika Jackson by 0.01. In the semifinals, Jackson finished second behind Tia Clayton, a move that sent shockwaves to her fans. Clayton clocked 10.83 to win, as Jackson came in a distant second in 10.87. Clayton's time at the semifinal made her the fastest Jamaican this year and ranks her fifth in the world. Fraser Price, on the other hand, is the third quickest in the semifinal heats after winning the first semifinal in an easy looking 10.91. When the 100 meter final came, it was Sharika who crossed the line first and subsequently successfully defended her 100 meter national title. The Tokyo 2020 bronze medalist in the 100 meter beat her veteran teammate Shelly Ann at the Jamaican National Championships in Kingston. Her 10.84 was ahead of Tia Clayton at 10.90 in second, and the 36-year-old Fraser Price in third at 10.94. Needless to say, all three women are expected to be named in Jamaica's always dangerous sprint team for the upcoming Olympic Games in Paris. After all, Jackson is the two-time and reigning world champion in the 200 meter, while Fraser Price is a three-time Olympic champion. It's a third straight 100 meter national title for Jackson, who is hoping to do much the same in the 200 meter. While Jackson is steadily cementing her spot in the sport, the same cannot be said about Fraser Price. In fact, as you probably already know, Paris would be the 10 time world champion's fifth and final games. As she is set to retire from track after this summer. Before that though, there's a huge chance that she could recapture a sprint gold after the withdrawal of reigning Olympic 100m and 200m champion Elaine Thompson Hera due to an Achilles injury. Long story short, Shelly Ann's third place finish in the 100m at the Jamaican trials was enough to secure a quota spot at an astonishing fifth Olympic Games. The legendary sprinter opted not to race the 200m, registering as a DNS, instead focusing solely on the 100m. Speaking after her third place finish, the two-time 100-meter Olympic gold medalist discussed what has been a turbulent season so far. As I go through the rest of the reason, I'm just praying that I stay healthy and continue to work because it's never over until it's over, she said. And ultimately, God is good. You know, I owe him all the glory and the credit for tonight because I think tonight was less about my natural abilities and more about the supernatural abilities. So I'm grateful for that. And, and as you can imagine, she is excited for Paris. You know, um, this is my fifth Olympic Games, and I'm really looking forward to it. I think I've said before that no national team has ever been easy to make, so to be able to make them is a big accomplishment, so I'm grateful. She wrote in an Instagram post, It is an absolute honor to represent my great country. I am truly grateful to represent Jamaica again at this year's Olympics in Paris. For Jackson, she admitted that at some points during the season, she lost a bit of hope because it took her so long to start. But I trusted the coach, she said. There were moments of frustration, but I am here and I am excited. Expressing determination, Jackson said that she trusts the guidance of coach Stephen Francis at the MVP track club. She is confident about her chances of standing atop the podium in Paris. I don't have an Olympic gold medal, and that is something that I am definitely looking forward to this year, she said. I got that wake up call, and here I am today. I'm at the championship, I'm here going to Paris, so I'm excited. Yeah, so as I said, I'm super excited for Paris. And Guess who else is going to Paris? Watch this to find out.